Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Baseball Mogul Guy. We are continuing our Baseball Mogul 2020 simulation of the 1994 season, the season that ended in a strike. We're simulating to see who would have uh, who would have ended up winning the World Series that year. And what we've come to is, well, we have the Dodgers and the Orioles in the World Series, and this will be Game 4. The Orioles have won the first three. In fact, I was looking back through the playoff calendar. The Orioles swept the first round. They won the second round four games to one. And now, right now, they've won three games in a row on the Dodgers in the World Series. The Orioles sure look like they're going to win the World Series, but let's see, playing as the Dodgers in this game, uh, let's see if we can't maybe steal a game here. So, as I take a sip of my coffee... Let's get game four started. Turn the volume down a little bit for the crowd noise. We have Tom Candiotti pitching tonight. Won 19 games on the season. In fact, out of their whole pitching staff, he's won the most games. So, you know, hey, maybe that's a good sign. With Jamie Moyer going for the Orioles, a lefty. I think that's the first left-handed starter maybe we will have faced. So we'll... Adjust our lineup accordingly, and we will get the game started. I won't go through the lineups. I've been going through the lineups in every game, but we'll just see them as they come to the plate. You can also see the lineups over here on this side. Mark McClemler leads off for the Orioles against Tom Candiotti. Swings, hits the ball to the outfield, out to right field, flies out to right. Dave Madigan back in second, playing third base. He hits the ball in the gap the right center. It's a double. Rafael Palmero, first baseman for the Orioles, comes to the plate, hits the ball to the outfield. Bounces it off the wall down out in left field. It's a double. Scores a run. The Orioles are very quickly on top. one nothing here in game four. A pass ball by Mike Piazza. No surprise there. Tolas hits the ball. Looks like a single to the outfield. Scoring Rafael Palmero. The Orioles have a 2 nothing lead. Mike Devereaux to the plate for the Orioles. He strikes out. Brady Anderson to the plate. Hits the ball in between the shortstop and third baseman for a single. Two on, two outs for Brad Tyler. Comes to the plate for the Orioles. Hits the ball in a line to center, and it looks like it drops in. Singles to center field, which scores another run. Now with runners on the corners, Kevin Baez comes to the plate. Two outs. Hits the ball between short and third. And just like that, in the top of the first, the Orioles are up four runs to nothing. And Jamie Moyer comes to the plate. Pitcher strikes out. So the Orioles, all nine batters bat, and they score four runs on six hits, no errors, and two left on base. The Dodgers are going to win. They have quite a hole to climb out of in this game. Reggie Williams leads off the inning. The ball to third base and then grounds out. Mosley often playing short. Pops the ball up in foul territory. And he is out. Mike Piazza to the plate. He walks. Mike Bush comes to the dish. Swings and strikes out. So no runs, no hits, no errors. And one left on the base. For the Dodgers. 4 0 going to the top of the second. We're back to the top of the order for the Orioles. Martin Clemens strikes out. Dave Madigan dribbled weakly to the catcher. Hmm, haven't seen that one yet. That's interesting. So he's out. Rafael Palmero comes back to the plate. Hits the ball between first and second for a single. The two outs runner on first. The catcher comes to the plate. And he it's an infield single to third. So Mike Devereaux with two outs comes to the plate. Hits the ball to shortstop. Should be an out. He is. He is. Grounds out to short. So no runs, two hits, no errors, and two left on the base. We move to the bottom of the second. Raul Mondesi comes to the plate for the Dodgers. That will be a home run. A long home run for Raul Mondesi. So the Dodgers get one run here so far in the bottom of the second. Don Barbara to the plate. Hits the ball between short and third. Chris Gwynn comes to the plate. Left fielder for the Dodgers. And we have another dribbled weekly to the catcher. And 
is out, but the runner moves up to second. Matt Howard now, second baseman, comes to the plate. Hits the ball on the ground to third. And he's out at third. The runner has to hold it second. So Tom Candiotti with two outs comes to the plate and pops the ball up on the infield. It should be out number three. So one run, two hits, no errors, and one left on base. Hey, you know, if you're the Dodgers, you, know, you got to chip away at that lead. you got to hold them, but you have to continue to chip away, and that's what they did. they got to run back. So down three going to the top of third. Brady Anderson strikes out. Brad Tyler to the plate. And grounds out to first. Kevin Baez, number eight hitter for the Warriors, strikes out. So there you go. If you're the Dodgers, that's what you need. Nope. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. Reggie Williams, leadoff hitter, back to the plate for the Dodgers. Grounds out to the pitcher. Jose Offerman. Puts the ball on the ground in second. And he's out. Mike Piazza, catcher. Strikes out looking. Runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Pitcher for the Dodgers, or for the Orioles, Jamie Moyer. It's a sick. Just, it just seems to be that this is not the Dodgers game. It's not the Dodgers series. Jamie Moyer with a base hit. The pitcher, a single up the middle. McClendler walks. Dave Madigan hits the ball between first and second. The bases are loaded for Rafael Palmer. This guy hits a home run. Ball hit on the ground to second. Grounded to shortstop for a double play. Run scores, but they got two outs. Runner on third, two outs. And a pop-up to first base. And the inning is over. So one run, two hits, no errors, and one left on base. We move to the bottom of the fourth. Mike Bush. The Orioles have a five to one lead. They've pulled their lead back out to four runs. Mike Bush pops up in foul ground. He's out. Raul Mondesi comes to the plate. He strikes out looking. Don Barbara. He, oh, looked outside, but they called it a strike three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no left, no one left on base. We go to the top of the fifth. Tom Candiani pitching to Mike Devereaux. Ball hit on the ground to short, and he is out. Brady Anderson from the plate. He strikes out. Brad Tyler, he walks. So Kevin Baez comes to the plate with one on and two outs. A line shot between short and third and a base hit. Jamie Moyer comes back to the plate with two outs. Hits the ball to the outfield, and he's out. So no runs, no hits, uh, no runs, one hit, no errors, and two left on base. We go to the bottom of the fifth. I'm probably, well, the pitcher's going to be coming up for the Dodgers. I'm going to have to pinch hit for him. I think he's thrown about 100 pitches, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Chris Gwynn hits the ball to the outfield. Should be an out. It's deep, but should be out. Flies out to left. Matt Howard walks. So now Tom Candiotti, let's see. Yeah, he's he's thrown 95 pitches. He's given up 11 hits in five innings and five earned runs. Yeah, it's 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 time to it's time to change this out. So Candiotti will bring in. Uh, let's see here. Let's kind of bring in a guy that's a little bit more maybe high contact. We really need to get some hits here. Bring in Delano DeShields. Let him let him get a hit. Of course, it's a lefty on lefty, but. It's a ground ball to third. Forces the runner at second. The one of the shields is safe at first. Reggie Williams now to the plate. It's a pop up to the outfield. And he is out. So we move to the bottom, or we move to the top of the sixth. We place this guy with the pitcher. Who do we have coming up? We have switch hitter righty, righty, righty. So. Let's bring in a right-handed pitcher. Let's just bring in uh, this fellow right here. Takashi Kyoto. I'm really just not sure I'm not pronouncing his name right, but we're going to go with it. All right, need to get a couple good innings out of him. Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. Let's switch left with right. <laughs> Look at the wrong lineup. 
But Dave Madigan to the plate. Left-hander gets the ball. Gets a base hit. Rafael Palmero to the plate. Another base hit to the outfield. So two on, one out. Catcher to the plate. Hits the ball to third. Could this be a double play? It's not. Uh, forces the runner at second. So two outs, runners on the corners. Mike Devereaux to the plate. Hits the ball to the outfield. Looks like it drops. Singles to center, scoring a run. Brady Anderson to the plate. Two outs. Hits the ball on the ground to short. But one run, three hits, no errors, and two left on base. The Orioles' offense in this series has just been unstoppable. I mean, no matter what the Dodgers do, the Orioles just keep one up in them. There's just the Dodgers just can't keep pace with his Oriole team. Is what I'm starting to see. Jose Offman in there with a nice base hit back up the middle. Mike Piazza. He's been quiet in this series, and he looks like he's going to continue to be quiet. Pops up. Might push. He strikes out, I think. Yeah, strikes out. So two outs, runner on first, Raul Mondesi to the plate, and he strikes out. All right, so Brad Tyler to the plate now. Flies, fly ball to right field, and he is out. Kevin Baez to the plate with one out for the Orioles. He pops up to the right side to the first baseman. And he is out. Jamie Moyer comes up to the plate. And he strikes out. So, a quiet seventh inning. The Dodgers now come to the plate. And Barbara rounds out to second. Chris Gwynn with one out. Ball that probably would have hit him. He swings out and strikes out. Matt Howard. Ball drop. Looks like it does. Stretch to a double. No, at this point, we just need to be runners. All right, so pinch hit for the pitcher now. All right, now then let's bring in. Let's see here. All right. The Ometo comes to the plate. He walks. Reggie Williams now. Two outs, two on. Swings and pops the ball up to third base. And he is out. All right. So let's bring in a pitcher here. Who now let me look at the, lock, the right lineup. Switch hitter, lefty, lefty, right. So let's bring in a left. Gary Wayne plays Mark McClellan. He hits the ball to the outfield. Let me tell you, there, there's just, there's nothing. It's just one of those games. I'm just, I'm managing the Dodgers in this game. But it's just one of those games. It's like, you just feel like there's nothing the Dodgers can do. Dave Madigan is the play with one on, no outs. Strikes out. Rafael Palmero. Strikes out. Catcher for the Orioles. Walks. Mike Devereaux. Strikes out. There's a whole lot of watching pitches go by that inning. So no runs, one hit, no errors, two left on base. We move to the bottom of the eighth inning. The Dodgers have six outs left to extend this series to game five. And they're down five runs. Jose Offerman. If they're ever going to do anything, now's the time when you've got to make something happen. Jose Offerman. Mike Piazza with a runner on first and no outs. Piazza walks. And the Orioles have changed pitchers. They brought in Brad Pennington. See the closer? Yeah, so they brought in their closer here in the eighth inning. And boy, he had a good year. 245 ERA, 41 saves. This is going to be tough. You can now get their closer for six outs here in the last game. Mike Bush walks. Raul Mondesi with no outs. Hits the ball to third. Grounded to third for a double play. They at least scored a run. So two outs. Runner on third. Don Barber to the plate. And he strikes out. And he knows. So they have left left. So Gary Wayne plays Brady Anderson here. And hits the ball to the outfield. 
He went for an extra base. Though. He singled to right, but went for an extra base and was thrown out at second. So now, here you go. For Brad Tyler to the plate for the Orioles. Ball is hit to the outfield again. Drops in once again. Kevin Baez comes to the plate. Boy, that ball way outside. He swung in that strike three. Jeff Tackett, pinch hitter for Brad. Wow. They're taking their closer out of the game. And see, this might be where you know, computer managing the team, because I can tell you right now, unless Brad Pennington got hurt, you do not take your closer out of this game. You let him finish out this series. But they're going to let Jeff Tackett come to the plate. And Gary Wayne is tired, and he walked the guy. So we're going to change pitchers here. We have a switch hitter, so it doesn't matter. We're going to bring in... I'll assume pitch here. Ball is hit to second base. Grounds out. So now Arthur Rhodes is the pitcher for the Orioles, which I think he's good too. If I remember right, later on he did become a closer, so this guy can close. You have Chris Gwynn now to the plate. You have the bottom of the Dodgers lineup coming up in the bottom of the ninth. Chris Green grounds off the short. Matt Howard hits the ball to the outfield. That flies out to center. Allison. All right. Put in somebody else. Uh, just put in Corey Snyder. Didn't have a chance. Corey Snyder comes to the plate. Swings. Ground ball to third. And the game is over. The Baltimore Orioles defeat the Los Angeles Dodgers 6-2. The Baltimore Orioles are the 1994 World Series champions. The Orioles, uh, the Orioles sweep the Los Angeles Dodgers four games to nothing. So, there you have it. Who would have won the 1994 World Series? According to Baseball Mogul, as we simulated the season and then played through the playoffs in the World Series. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles pretty much steamrolled everyone in the playoffs and ended up winning the 1994 World Series. Appreciate y'all coming along with me on this journey. This has been the Baseball Mogul Guy. I hope y'all will like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I hope y'all will have a good rest of your day.